Hey, what's up guys? It is King Alpha here and welcome back everyone to a brand new video. And I can't believe it guys, but today here on this channel, I'm going to be bringing you guys a Modern Warfare 2 beta glitch video. The beta is not even live yet and I'm already bringing you guys a glitch video. But if you guys do go enjoy today's video and you want to see more like it in the future, I'd greatly appreciate it if you guys drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and ding the bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. It only takes you guys a second and it helps me out a lot, so I'd really appreciate it. The only way to preload the beta currently is for PS4 and PS5 users. I'm on PS5. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and plug in a mouse or sorry, a keyboard. So what we're going to do, go ahead and do is with our controller, we're going to click X here. It's going to bring us up to the connection failed screen. Then we're going to click F3. We're going to click F3 again. And boom, it's going to bring us uh, here to this menu. Now, if it doesn't bring you to this menu uh, straight away, just click F4 and then F3 again. And then from here, we can go ahead and uh, look at all the different settings here. So let's start with the controller. We have input device, either controller or mouse. Button layout preset, obviously you have all your different kinds. We always play tactical, so we'll go ahead and set that on there. Flip, your aim and shoot. I always play with that, so we would go ahead and put that on. Stick layout preset, I don't usually change that. Controller vibration, a trigger effect. You can do um, all these different types of things. So obviously Modern Warfare 2 is going to come with the PS5 custom, you know, haptic feedbacks and stuff like that. Aiming, your sensitivity. You guys can change your different sensitivities. Let's just go ahead and do like a 6-6 a, a six, six for now. I mean sensitivity multiplier, uh, sensitivity multiplier, you guys can see all the different kind here. Uh, vertical uh, aim axis, uh, you guys want to change that or not. Aim down sight behavior, hold, automatic sprint off, equipment behavior, hold, weapon mount activation, ADS plus melee. Interact uh, reload behavior, tap to reload. I usually do prioritize uh, interact, so that basically means it's one button to uh, like interact with something, so one button to you know interact with some kind of uh, thing inside of the world, and then it's like a hold to reload. So we're gonna go prioritize uh, interact, and then armor plate behavior, we're gonna set that to apply all. So boom, that's all the controller options. From here, we're gonna go ahead and head down to the graphic settings. Uh, uh, on demand text streaming off. I'm gonna disable that. Motion blur off. Uh, weapon motion blur off. Film grain. We obviously want this off. Never want to play with film grain on. Depth of field. Out of focus blur effects is disabled. Uh, simulation camera lenses out of focus areas blurred. So essentially, what this means, if something is not directly in front of you, it's out of view. It will blur it. We do not want anything to be blurred. Uh, okay, enhance the sharpness of scene rendering using the uh, enhance the sharpness of scene rendering. Sure, yeah, let's do that. Uh, the strength, we'll keep it at one, I guess. Here's the big thing, field of view. Obviously, you guys can see the difference there. What normal console players see at 60, uh, and you can see here at 120, it is very, very different. Most games I play on a 90 FOV, but this being Warzone probably going to want to play it like uh, maybe a 105, 110. I don't really know. Uh, I haven't ever played Call of Duty with FOV slider uh, when it comes to like, you know, Modern Warfare or Warzone or anything because I've always been on console. So we're just going to have it at 105 right now. Uh, ADS field of view. You can do affected, not affected. Uh, oh, we're actually getting to see a little bit of uh, firing range it looks like there. Uh, weapon field of view. So there's a bunch of different settings there. Third person field of view. Uh, so we're assuming this is for vehicles. So if you want to change your vehicle field of view, you can do that. We'll go ahead and uh, do that. Vehicle uh, effective field of view. Brightness, obviously you can change your brightness if you need to. We'll keep it at 50. Safe area, obviously there, that's always in the game. Oh, I accidentally logged out there. Let's go ahead and kick, uh, click F3 again. Boom, we're back in it. Audio. Uh, play audio test. Okay, we're hearing some volume. Damn. That stuff sounds beefy, dude. You hear that? That sounds crazy. Subtitles. Uh, obviously, we want on. Campaign, multiplayer, co-op. We'll keep all those on. Voice chat on, voice chat device, I want my headset, microphone test, open mic threshold, volume, microphone volume, channels, auto connect to a match start, auto connect to when you enter game lobby, okay, mute yourself when connecting, juggernaut music, so I guess juggernauts are coming back, hit marker sounds, we have none, classic or MW, 
Moving on, we have interface, menu text size, subtitle, subtitle size, subtitle background capacity, text chat background capacity, language selection, color customization, minimap shape, we always want square, minimap rotation, horizontal compass, hit marker visuals, damage based hit markers, player names, vehicle HUD prompts, um, ooh, hardware network monitoring, okay, that's just your normal thing there okay connection meter so you can view your your connection meter and stuff like that then we have account and network which i won't be showing you guys and there's quick settings so these are your quick settings so i guess this is the kind of stuff that maybe you do want to change on the fly uh, i guess that we can oh so you can add or remove stuff from your quick settings oh so that's kind of nice so if you wanted to quickly change your fov or quickly change your sensitivity you could uh, add or remove something to your quick menu so it's just right there when you open up your settings if we go ahead and click options on the controller while we're here uh we can click again uh f3 f3 again f4 f3 again we can scroll over here we can see notifications there is a social menu here so there's home social or progression clicking home tries to log us in obviously we can't log in and uh, if we head over to here you can see all of our stuff i can edit uh, any of this stuff here but there you go guys that is how you guys can access the settings and you guys can actually change some of your settings and get prepared for when the beta comes out this weekend i'm also noticing there's a search button so that's pretty cool. You can actually search for settings now. So if I wanted to search for the FOV, I can put in FOV. And, um, oh, it didn't come up actually. Maybe it's not working right now. So that's really cool. Uh, if you guys did enjoy today's video, like I said, I appreciate you guys. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and ding the bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.